We have turned a full desktop PC into a laptop. Are you happy now? Yo, what is up my beautiful people? As you can see now, I have my RG Ally connected to a portable monitor, a Bluetooth keyboard, and mouse. And every time I showcase a setup like this, there's always somebody in the comments saying, just get a laptop, just get a laptop. Well, that's exactly what I did. I got a laptop and today I'm gonna turn every device into a laptop with this right here. Let's talk about it. Okay, so what even is this thing here? This is actually the UPerfect UDoc X 15.6 Pro and it's pretty much a portable monitor, keyboard, trackpad, uh, hub, all in one. And I'm gonna show you uh, some use cases for this and show you why I believe this is an amazing uh, accessory, peripheral, monitor, all in one for pretty much all of your computing devices. Let me show you how great this thing is. But before we hook it up and show you how great it is, let me just you know give you a little tour of the device. Uh, get this off of here. Okay, so as the name suggests, the UDoc 15.6 uh, Pro is a 15.6 inch 1080p monitor, 120 hertz. It has a built-in 10,000 milliamp hour battery. It has a pretty decent keyboard and a uh, pretty good trackpad here. As far as the ports go, it has a, a USB-C for power to charge it. USB-C to connect to uh, a device that uh, takes USB-C uh, display port, and then also has a mini HDMI for devices that take HDMI video out. On the other side, this is where it becomes a dock. It has a full-size USB-A port, micro SD card slot, and a um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the top, we also have, I don't know if you can see that there, but this is actually a spot to charge your phone. And we'll talk about that when we uh, talk about the um, the phone connection there, but this is actually a wireless charge pad there, which I think is actually dope. So let's connect this to some devices and finally silence everyone that always says, just get a laptop. Let's make every device a laptop right now. Let's do it. Okay, so we have it connected to the ROG Ally X here, and I have it set to duplicate mode, um, just so you can see how the um, the screens uh, match up. It actually goes up to 120 hertz, so let me just put it at 120 hertz here, and I think that's amazing. So we have a 1080p, 15.6 uh, inch, 120 hertz display, and it does get pretty bright. It does look uh, pretty good, and I think this is going to be an amazing setup for your ROG Ally X. Now, you can pretty much turn your ROG Ally X into a laptop and it's all in this uh, one complete package here. The only thing you need to do is connect a single cable that's going to give you a uh, display out and you are pretty much good to go. I think it does look amazing. Let me just show you how smooth it is. I just have the screen on now so you can see um, that there's no latency or anything like that. Uh, let me show you this here. Okay, so I have the um, the ROG Ally screen on to, uh, to mirror here, just so you can see that there's no latency or delay in between my inputs and the, um, what is displayed on the actual uh, UDoc screen here. So as you can see, I'm moving around pretty fast and look at the ROG Ally screen and then look at the, the UDoc screen here. There's no sort of latency, there's no delay, and this is going directly into the UDoc uh, via the USB display port here, and it is amazing. Very smooth, 120 hertz display here. It looks good. Look at the colors, the contrast. Now this game is pretty, um, I guess, uh, low graphics, but the colors, the contrast, it looks good. Look how it matches the RG Ally X screen. So the quality is definitely there. Um, 1080p, 120 hertz. It does definitely uh, look amazing here. Now, not just for gaming, you can use this now as a full laptop. It's pretty much just taking your ROG Ally, giving you a larger screen and a keyboard and trackpad. So you can use this for all of your computing needs. We're on uh, YouTube right now, so you can use this for web browsing. You can use it for uh, productivity, and the keyboard actually feels pretty good. It's not a lot of travel, but it actually feels good. I'll let you hear the keyboard just so you can get a sense of the, the keys. 
So the keyboard actually feels pretty good, feels comfortable to type on, and it also has uh, built-in speakers, so let's uh, test those right now. Okay, so as you heard there, the speakers actually sound pretty good. Definitely passable as far as speakers go. And I do think it's over an overall uh, great package here, but we're not done yet. We're gonna connect this to some more devices and the insanity is going to continue. We're turning every device into a laptop. So let's keep this going. Okay, so this is another dope use case for this whole setup here. As you can see, I'm using the, uh, the UDoc monitor as my sort of like gaming main monitor. And I'm using the Legion Go as a second monitor watching a video here. And I think this is probably the dopest use case where you, ha you have it like a dual monitor setup. That is actually, you know, pretty dope if you ask me. And I really can't complain here. So let's see, we're gaming on one side and we are also um, utilizing the, the, uh, the Legion Go monitor on the other side as our second monitor. This is a an elite pair, if you ask me. It doesn't really get much better than this. You're gaming, and you can still use the you can still use the um the keyboard if you want, but I'm just using the, the Legion Go uh, controller just because I do like this controller. But you can still use the keyboard if you would like. It's still a fully functional you know keyboard. But just in this case, I think the fact that the Legion Go has that detachable keyboard, it makes it a, an awesome uh, use case um, for this U dock here. The fact that we can be watching a video on the side and playing a game on the the main large 15.6 inch display, I think that is a dope use case but we're not done yet the insanity must continue like i said we're turning everything into a laptop let's get into the next setup okay so now as you can see i have the the steam deck connected and i am using the uh the steam controller here and what i love about this is the fact that since the the udoc has that usb port on the side I can actually utilize the, the Steam Deck dongle to get much lower latency, and that is going to definitely improve the gaming experience. So I'm using the USB uh, port here on the side with the, the dongle, and like there's, there's no lag or latency in the connection here. It feels great, even when you're playing like fast-paced games that require like a lot of sort of quick movements, you can definitely uh, utilize that. Um, I'm not playing so well behind the camera here, but as you can see, it works amazing. There's no latency, there's no lag, everything feels smooth. As you can see here, when I press the button, there's no lag, there's no latency or anything like that. Feels smooth, feels great. And I think this is an amazing companion for the uh, the Steam Deck here. And as you can see, the, the trackpad works, the keyboard works. So I can use that. Um, it's pretty much like a full laptop, you know, there's no, I can't really tell that it's not running directly on the system. Like there's no lag, there's no latency or anything like that. It just feels like I'm utilizing, um, this system as if it were a laptop. I don't feel like any lag or any delay or anything like that. So yeah, you can definitely turn your steam deck into a laptop here. You can even connect, you know, peripherals with the, the USB port, we have a, a USB dongle for a uh, low latency controller experience. And yeah, it's just an amazing um, experience using the um, the UDoc here. I think it's definitely a dope thing here, but we're not done. We have a few more things to turn into a laptop because we won't stop until everything is a laptop. Okay, so turning everything into a laptop has brought us to the Nintendo Switch. Now, it's technically not a laptop because the the, the keyboard and the uh, the trackpad don't work with the switch, of course. But one amazing one amazing feature about this laptop is the fact that it, it can rotate a full 180 degrees. So if you can't use the keyboard, just turn it around, rotate it, and now you have just a monitor here, and you're playing a Nintendo Switch with a single cable here, and this is your <laughs> this is your whole setup here. And you're having a great time. The built-in speakers, that 15.6 uh, inch, 120 hertz display. Now, of course, the switch only supports up to uh, 60 hertz, but this is an amazing experience, you guys. It looks good. It plays well. Um, it's charging the switch. Now, I will say it only charges up to five watts, and that's one of the things I wish it did better was have better pass-through charging. But it's enough to um, activate the switch uh, docked mode. 
and this is this is a great experience you guys so you can pack this in your bag you can turn all of your you know your handouts into uh, a laptop and then you also have a, a monitor uh, for your Nintendo Switch as well. And that's not something you can say for a regular laptop. So this is definitely a dope experience here. Playing Switch on the uh, the U-Dock here, I think is dope, you know. I think this is definitely a great experience here. Uh, so yeah, I'm having fun. But we're not done yet. We have a few more devices to turn into a laptop. The insanity is just getting started. Like they said, they told me to get a laptop. So I'm turning everything into a laptop. Let's get into the next one. Okay, check this out, you guys. I have my uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra right now connected, and we are in the Dex mode. And as you can see here, I can multitask. I got two monitors up here, so I can be like, you know, watching videos. I can be browsing the internet, and this is turning my my uh, my Galaxy phone into a, like a full fledged, you know, PC with this um this you know uh, Dex mode now. It really depends if your phone or your device has like a desktop mode or like a DeX. But all of like the recent Samsungs from like, I don't know, like the last five to six years have like DeX mode. So just make sure your phone has like some sort of desktop mode or DeX mode. Now I did test it with an iPhone, but unfortunately the iPhone um, doesn't have like any sort of uh, desktop mode. So I can show you that there. If I connect the iPhone, it's just going to pretty much mirror the screen. It's not going to like have any sort of uh, desktop mode, but it does technically work to uh, to mirror the screen here. So as you can see, it does technically work to to mirror the screen, and the uh, the trackpad does work. Um, oh, the keyboard does work as well. So I guess you could technically use this, but it's not the best experience on the iPhone because the iPhone doesn't have so any sort of like desktop mode. Or um, or any sort of uh, you know better interface for uh, using a um, a monitor, but it definitely does work. As you can see here, I was working on the uh, the script for this video. Let's see if I can actually type in here. Let's see. Okay. Does this work? Oh, it actually does work, you guys. So, I mean, I guess we technically did turn the iPhone into a laptop because the trackpad works, the um, the keyboard works, uh, the the screen is a little bit small, but it, it's technically technically a laptop because we have the full functionality. The display is just a little uh, wonky, but anyway. <laughs> Every device is going to be a laptop today. They told me to get a laptop, so every device is going to be a laptop, and we're not done yet. Let's keep going. Like I said, we're turning everything into a laptop, you guys. Here I have a mini gaming PC. This is the, the Minus Forum HX 100G, whatever. It has a RX 66 100 XT inside of it, eight gigabytes of VRAM. This thing at 1080p can max out every game and give you 120 FPS. This is the real deal here. Like I said, we're turning everything into a laptop. We can even turn a mini PC into a laptop. Now, why I think this is not just a ridiculous sort of, um, you know, I don't know, gag, is the fact that, think of it like this. You could have a mini PC at home and then a mini PC at the office, and you just have to put this in your bag, you connect to it when you get to work, then you disconnect and then connect to it when you get home, and this can actually be a viable situation. You know, you just carry this around, you keep your P one PC at work, one PC at home, and you are actually uh, good to go. It's not just a gag, I promise you guys. This actually could be a viable situation, you know. You don't have to carry around an actual laptop, you know, you just carry this around, get to where you're going, connect to the actual computer, and then you are good to go. This is actually a viable setup. It's not just a joke, you guys, I promise you. It's not just a joke. Here I am playing games for real, just in case you guys were wondering, getting over 120 FPS here uh, in Returnal, pretty intense game here. Now, I'm not the best at the game behind the camera, but I am able to play this without any problem. And check that out, you guys, it actually does look good. Is it just me or does it actually look good? It actually does look good, you guys. So this is definitely an amazing experience here. Turning everything into a PC or into a laptop, I mean, has been uh, 
more enjoyable than I initially thought it would be. But like they, like I said, they told me to get a laptop. So I'm turning everything into a laptop. Now I have one more device to turn into a laptop. It's kind of outrageous, but be before I let you go, <laughs> we have to do this, you guys. We have to do it just to silence everyone that thought we should just turn our handouts in and get laptops instead. It's time to silence those people once and for all. I got one more device. Uh, let's check it out. Check this out, you guys. I got my full desktop PC connected to the UDoc right now. I have turned my desktop PC into a laptop. We got a full RX 7900 GRE, uh, Ryzen 7 5800X, 32 gigabytes of RAM. We have turned a full desktop PC into a laptop. Are you happy now? They told me just get a laptop. So I turned my desktop into a laptop and we're just getting started, you guys. We're just getting started. Okay, so this video, it was crazy. It got a little out of hand, but what do I actually think about the UDoc? Now, I will say that you, uh, UProject actually sent this out to me, but I specifically requested this because I do think it is an amazing accessory for your handheld, uh, for your phone, if it supports it, um, and even like, a mini PC. Now that is sort of like an edge case. Um, I don't, I don't honestly think you should turn your PC into a laptop, but I do think this is kind of an answer for anyone that ever said, just get a laptop because this is an amazing accessory for uh, your handheld. You can turn, take a handheld and turn it into something more. For example, for productivity, maybe you're a student or you do like, you know, uh, office work, you know, emails, word processing, documents and stuff like that, but you don't want to have a whole nother computer. You can connect your handout to something like this and then utilize this for productivity. The keyboard is good. The trackpad is usable. I wouldn't use the trackpad for games, but the keyboard is more than usable for typing extensive emails and Word documents, and you can get more functionality out of your handouts. Now, if someone in the comments of this video says, just get a laptop, then I'm gonna have to really lose it because I just turned every device I own into a laptop, so there's nothing they can really say. Now, I do think this is an amazing accessory for your handhelds to get much more out of them. If you don't want to take this with you, all you need to do is remove one cable and you're back in handheld mode. Then when you get to a place where you wanna dock it, all it takes is one cable, you connect it, and now look, your handheld is something more. And I think that is the point of accessories like this, is getting more out of your handheld. Anyone that ever said just get a laptop is pretty much telling you to get less out of your handheld when you can get so much more. Anyway, this video has been way too crazy. Uh, leave a comment down below if you would actually consider something like this. Um, turn your phone, your, your, your tablet, your handheld, <laughs> even your desktop PC into a laptop. Leave a comment down below if you would even consider something like this. I definitely think it is an amazing accessory. And as always, like, subscribe, ring that bell, all that great YouTube stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, the next crazy video. And yeah, I had a lot of fun making this turning everything into a laptop but anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one i'll uh, link in the description peace